Welcome back guys, Slabber Kadeo, welcome back to episode number 11 of our Mortal Empires, legendary Mortal Empires, Empire campaign. Alright, oh hello. I'll kill them. I'll kill this rebellion at first anyway. These are guys we fought before. We were friendly with them, but we kind of destroyed them. That's the rebellion that we thank you. Oh, a little flame banner, hell yeah. Alright, he's going up there. Uh, bam, bam. I think he can have an eternal flame banner, right? No, it's only the Lord. Mr. Franz, what do we want? Campaign movement, we want both of those. Magic drop chance. Yeah, get rid of that. I could explain why we're keeping so many items. This dude hasn't even started recruiting yet. But I can't get crud because then this guy's. Yeah, God, I don't know. I have to. Right, we're going to go and attack these guys, my main army, and use the profits from that war to feed this army. That's the plan, Stanley. I just need to get away from here first. Because surely they're going to be worth some money. Not really a faction I actually need to fight, um, but they do actually own a bit of my territory, so... I don't know how well that turns out. Just this vampire army being a full stack right at our doorsteps, obviously not ideal. Is that what we want? I think so, otherwise I'm just going to be treading water here for the next 50, 100 turns, right? Basically until Chaos turns up, and then everybody will be like, Oh, I'll side with you now. That's not how I want to play it. It's kind of how we've been playing, but I don't want to play it that way. The other way is to go and attack Merenberg and take their stuff, because they're rich. But I think, since we're already at war with Bordelox anyway. Send an expedition. Over there, a holy war if you would. Slave, thank you. Speak, I will hear oh, yeah. you. Oh, yeah. Can you say so? Doors of Confederated. I don't think that changes anything as far as we're concerned. See, this we're probably gonna we're gonna lose that. It's gonna rebel. The nation <sighs> no, you don't. Yes, he does. Yes, he does, I think. Damn, he's going to take that town. Kronberg's probably going to go down too. There's no point putting that as of yet. It's basically all I can do. Um. Yeah, take that. Uh, this guy wants to be in that army. It's going to cost us more to do that, though, which is kind of annoying. This is rebelling, I can't just have to, whatever, the garrison has to defend that, I can't keep falling back. See if he's going to attack us or if he's going to attack the settlement. There's two armies there. I think we can take it. We're going to. <laughs> I don't know if a good idea or not, but we're going to. So many trees. Remember I can vanguard these? I don't think you had any cave. I can vanguard these and I've got all these flyers. Those four are all flying, remember? To take out like his artillery and stuff. Pretty confident we can win this. <sighs> Especially if the reinforcements come from right there. Okay, you're gonna get reinforcements screwed. It happens to us enough, so fair enough. Range dudes aren't going to be that helpful, but that's okay. Uh, cannon and stuff, kind of do want them to just be shooting that way, or those trees are going to kind of get in the way, aren't they? Can I put them up here and get back over there in time? Maybe. And just have some protection from with the trees and stuff. And the cave, yeah, we'll do that. 
This dude's going into that group. Uh, lock that. Uh, it's fine. Okay, guys. You guys run up in there and start shooting. You guys are going to, right? Yeah, for the Lord, please. No, I'm going to overcast it. That kind of missed everything, didn't it? Oh, you shoot at anything you can for now. Hear that guy up. Oh, that's one of the law. Ah, uh, yeah, nice big boss. See the Lord there. Dead. Let's just crush onto the rest of the stuff. Okay, let's go. Uh, oh, please. Unfortunate. Right, lords, let's go this way. Go support our cavalry. Infantry, etc. can deal with anything that's going that way. Uh, you guys can probably turn. It's fine. Okay, I'll deal with that. You can continue to shoot those dudes. That's, actually, shoot the artillery. That's fine. Large, go on the trolls, please. Uh, all that cavalry, I mean, all that infantry, it's not actually doing anything. Come this way. Oh, it's a little smack. Oh, cool. Give it a hand. Spit them out. Cavs got those dudes. Nice. That's it. He's doing well. We got this easy, eh? Take them out. Down broke. Gracing around. Yeah, that side all broke. Beautiful. This is an absolute slaughter. Just having those flies is so good. Ah, uh, no, you actually kill that. You can go and kill that. And that. That's Skarsnik. Calfriends beat Skarsnik in a one on one situation? I guess so. Oh, uh, maybe not actually. Skarsnik is anti large after all. Give me a little bit of support. Let the wind of life blow. It's kind of a waste, but <laughs> it's okay, it's fine. Whatever. Uh, 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 no. <laughs> Get out of here. What are you doing, man? Where's Mr. Girl friends? Oh, you get out of there, jeepers. That's not gonna work. Oh, oh god, range dudes. Ah, oh, god, all my bloody infantry sitting back doing nothing. How are you not killing this? It's only gobos. They're not actually anti large. Nearly. It's not that great versus uh, the groups, though, eh? Right, you can come over and help, help us out over here. Oh, there's a good chunk. And I'll heal that group too. I'm not going to do that. It's kind of a waste. Nice. Right, that's the route. Very good, boys. Very good. Right. 
Very good indeed. Lost 137, taking out 2,000. I like it. Good work, Kev. Oh, bloody infantry didn't get a lot of kills, though, really, did they? Lords and stuff, I suppose. Yeah, having those flies is just so handy. And the cavalry on the ground, you know, I mean, they're anti infantry cavs, so they should be doing well. And they're both rank 9, so yeah. I haven't really had an opportunity to use the cannon that much. Just because um, every map we've played has been bloody forest. Which just doesn't really work with range stuff, obviously. Well, we should get a wee bit of coin out of that. Is that all, really, from two armies? Um, I wonder if I just go and attack Skarsnik now, then. Since I've just kind of broke his back, right? Just, they're not worth that much money, that's all. I don't believe. Shouldn't be that difficult to get through them, though, I wouldn't think. I could hit this and then go and hit that and then come back. I might do that. I did want to go this way, but since I just took out two of his armies, I might be better off going for him. Kind of leave everything else as it is, eh? Oh, there's the vamps up here too, pushing towards us. I don't think they beat us. And just fighting into that garrison, I don't think they beat that. Look at the army. Uh, yeah, it's not amazing. Bring me to my men. I am Prince and Emperor. I see no other option. I really should auto it, but I don't want to. I mean, I really shouldn't auto it. Ah, uh, goddamn. Attack! It's worth it. And I can sit over there and gin. Men, we must attack. Really? Oh, this is going to be so stupid. I'm going to lose so much. It's just not even worth fighting it. It's just so freaking stupid. Plus 15 melee attack when fighting at sea. Well, that's going to come in real handy, isn't it? Yeah, ducks. Alright, so we need two more of those. And... Why can't I get one of those? Oh, I don't have a gunsmith. Okay, well that explains that then, I suppose. It seems to be the Halbergs that um, are the ones that just die, right? For whatever reason. Uh, okay. Oh, he's got two points. Nice. Fosiga. Yeah, I think that's worth getting. Those extras, so you can have first as well. It's speed, of course. Um, we want Sigma Sun for the missile resistance when he's in the air. Have you got buffs yet? Yeah, it's just for him. That's what I want. To buff the troops. My influence. Don't think he's going for us. Um, this will hold, right? By itself. Maybe. Get money, fix that, fix that. Because I could pull him over here and defend here. Although, depending on what he's got, it's a fairly decent garrison. Uh, growth, maybe? I'm trying to get this up higher. If I can. I don't think he's going to attack us. I think he's going somewhere else. I should be fine if he does. 
<laughs> okay, no, it's not. It's taking us a two out of me straight up. So you must... Oh, yeah, they do own it. Okay. I'm pretty confident we can defend this. Especially if Cal Freya's going to get back up there as well. Because it's a good garrison. If it's an open field, which I kind of hope it is, we'll romp them. Otherwise, I can maybe... See, the thing is, we've got four cav, and as far as, like, a siege will go, cav's not the best. Either attacking or defending. Looks like Vladdy's moving into our territories as well. See if I can turn up there and stop him. I'm sure I can. By the Summon the Electra Couch. Summon the Electra Couch. I can't. I really can't. Hang on. Right. Let's have a look. Oh, I can't even finish that recruiting because he's buggers. That's not going to be in our favour. It's not terrible. Obviously, I'm going to need to pull Cal Franz up that way. Bring me to my men. Kind of sucks that I can't, like, go on the boat and get out there, right? There's no advantage just to... A couple of meters, I guess. In the name of Magnus. I'll have to go that way, though. That's not my territory. I am Prince and Emperor. So expensive. <laughs> I'm not getting that. It's real expensive. That's pretty good, but yeah. Right. Let's see if he wants to attack into a siege. I know he's got two armies, but oh, if I lose this, it's so bad. That worried about that one at the moment. Huh? So one of the armies fighting my main army, okay. My dudes are hurt, but my generals are not. That's where a lot of my power's from, right? There's a nice open field as well, so the cannon's gonna come into play finally. It's anti large, right? Let's shoot that. Shoot him if he's on a dragon. He does have a uh, decent amount of cav. Yeah, it's anti large. Okay. Um, obviously, I want to get that as much time as possible. Yep, that'll be good. Ready for war. Lock that in, you, you buffing them. The lords are going to go and see if we can pick a fight. Ah, uh, the handgunner's up that side, so hopefully the hill won't be as annoying to deal with. It's still going to be annoying, but hopefully not as annoying. Now I have my care back to protect this. Uh, we are fine on that amount of money, I mean magic. Thanks. Is there a flying lord? No, he is not. So let's start shooting that dude. So we're sacrificing one of these. Maybe. That's what we're doing. Hardly call that a sacrifice, but thanks very much. Battle 
Uh, why aren't you shooting? Can you really not see? I kind of need another cast. I'm not going to get it. Finally, cannon can shoot. Nice. Right, guns, take him out if you can. Come on, man. How much do I need? 15. Ah, oh, guns. I mean, cannons are so annoying. I could heal him, but I don't think I'd need to. Regroup up on France. Good idea. Apparently they just want to charge straight at us. It's fine. We'll counter charge. My subjects call. Get them. I come back and kill that. Those guys. The Empire. So you can jump in now. Why are you not doing anything? Is it? Thank you. I should be strong enough. You can't see, right? No, you can't. God damn it. You see these guys? To get you over this ledge, maybe. If I can get this dude up to another. Oh, yeah, there. Should be good enough. Right, can we get some shots on this guy? Before he kills us, please. <laughs> Kill him! Come on, that's it. One more. One more volley. Oh, how'd you break? Are you kidding? Okay, uh, they really need to get out of there because I just took a heap of damage. A whole heap of damage. I can't. Yeah, get out of there, friends. Did you get out? Ready for war. Not yet. No lingering. The rules are the two we'll get out too, I think. Come, on, come give your lord a hand, please. Is that will kill him off? Oh, these guns are so annoying sometimes. Stupid line of sight. Oh, my lord just got killed. My caster. Sucky. Kill all that stuff. Ah, uh, he's gonna die too, right? Man. My health, he got 800. It's a corpse cat that's keeping you in it? I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, come on. 
Land on him. Please. Right, the rest of the infantry's dead. Ah, oh, there's a little bit left. Okay. Ah, this is hurting way too much. He took so much damage, like all of a sudden, I'm sure something happened. I mean, obviously something happened, right? He's not going to die if I attack that. Charge nice. Right, swing everybody else in too. Just careful that Lord, I think. Alright, if you can kill those off, that'd be awesome. Alright, get out. That dude apparently really hurts. <laughs> like, really hurts. Ah, uh, shoot him, maybe. Yeah, that might be how we have to deal with him. I mean, he's going to be dead anyway after this, but... Sucks losing that caster, man. It's our heels all gone. It's a lot of stuff gone. No, 145. I didn't lose that much, I guess. Oh, did I lose that dude too? Ah, oh, damn it. He didn't have immortality either. God damn. He, he did, so he'll come back. That's fine. I mean, it sucks. I kind of would like him for the next fight. But... It's not the worst case scenario. Problem is, they're going to attack me with that other army too, aren't they? They're not just going to attack with one army. Oh, damn, damn, damn. Maybe our first time we lose this army. How's that not destroyed? It's a vampire count army. Are you kidding me? Uh, it didn't attack. Weird. I damn sure he would have finished me off there. Why would he have not have? Oh, well, I mean my army survives. That's good, I suppose. Oh, go away. Hmm. Second army's still there, of course. So you just get rid of that. I'm going to put Kyle Franz and Aldorf. He's going to come up and take this back too. Hmm. Right. He can kill that. Oh, nice 10% more save. Then take that. Alright, you get out. Because he needs to get out. Bring me to my men. So we lost. We lost the two generals and our caster and our and two of those, no right? Option. Something else we lost too. Uh, one crossbow. Make out and still not yet. Okay, well, he can have that one because that's for him, I suppose. Sigmarite Arch Lecter. So he can't kill that. 
Ready to serve. Can we protect like this? Yes. Okay, let's do that. Should be enough to tip the balance and power in our favour, whoever we're fighting there. True servant of Both leveled, which is good. That one also affects our allies. Nice. That's the ones I wanted, right? Right, you defend that. These guys are going to have to defend this other side. So this other lord's not coming back. This other captain. I can actually get four at the moment. He will though, which is fine. I mean, it sucks to lose the other captain, don't get me wrong, but... You know, if I had to choose between losing the captain permanently or losing my caster, I'd definitely lose my captain. God, man. <laughs> right, we're being besieged here. He's got another army coming out this way. Vampire counts are up here with a full stack. Borderlinks is here with a full stack, all wanting to eat me. Yeah. Oh, whoops. <laughs> How's that not auto resolved? <laughs> oh, man, okay. Yeah, I think we can do this, boys. Should be an easy enough victory. Man, we're going to be pushed back to like two settlements. Um, yeah, obviously I didn't mean to fight that. I can beat this army, that's not a problem, I just need to get some health back for my main army. I think the other dude can hold against Skarsnick. Did you not even take it? Ugh. Oh, you just okay. I don't know where the vampires went either. It's a little concerning. I don't know what these guys are doing, just sitting there. Can you guys help or something? Come on, I'm being attacked by everybody. From all sides. The evil forces of the world are encroaching on the settlements of man. What can we do? It's up to Carl Franz to fight back. Uh, plus four pub quarter or uh, summon the elector counts. Uh, I can't really wait for those that other dude to come back. Right, I don't have the time. It is forbidden. So if I hit that, it's just going to rebel anyway. So it's kind of no point. It's not like the fact that it's a staging ground for these guys. To war. Bring me to my men. Oh, can I really not move? Are you kidding? Because I raised. That may cost us. He's going to attack us, right? How can I not? Ah, oh, so stupid. The Emperor. Really, though? Um. Okay. I mean, we'll not fight that. Kind of hoping that comes up in a siege. I really regret doing this now. Because first of all, that hurt a lot, considering we were full health basically before we did that, and he can 
hit me in one turn. I don't know if he will or not, but he can. Let's hope he doesn't. He doesn't. Okay, that's good. That's good. Back over here, slight. That was just silly. He could have lost that army there. Ah, get back in here, get regened. Resecure this region. Ugh. I have a strong standing army that's kind of our only saving grace. Which may also be why we're in so much trouble rather than going with crappy tier 1 stuff. And just auto resolving our way to victory, which some people do, which is really boring, so whatever. Of the Empire. Yes, Kislev. Um, That'd be nice. I need money, it's the other problem. Oh, what? <laughs> He's got destroyed. The I got it. They're like my best friends. Onwards. Bring me to my men. Right, let's you regen fast. I think, yeah, I didn't get that last time, so that's good. How far away is this dude? Two turns. I really want him back. Um I see no other option. Neither. <laughs> right, get that and then we're gonna go down and get this back. I know my cast is not gonna be there, which really sucks, but I can't afford to just sit here. Really? You're really gonna go all like there's so other many other people you could be attacking right now. You gotta run all the way over here and attack this. Okay, whatever. Stupid AI. I still like the idea of smashing these guys. I still haven't been able to get out of this bloody province, right? It's ridiculous. Well, I'm not going to have any issues taking this back and all that. Um, it's just, you know, does that open the door again for the vampires to come and attack Eldorf again? And there's something going to take them, you know. It'll be just one time and there'll just be an army that's just too strong and I can't beat it. And then I've lost my capital and then basically the campaign's over. Basically, as long as we've got my main army and Eldorf, or either or, well, mainly Eldorf, um, we can just push through anything. It's just getting that... You know, keeping it is the problem sometimes. And obviously having a really strong standing army like we do is obviously very good. Is that going to be another rebellion? <laughs> this rebellion isn't even finished yet. You can't have another rebellion. Right, we have to go this way. You going to turn around and fight me, Elbrook? With both armies? Yes, you sure are, right? Yeah, that's only a small army anyway. Good work leveling there, fella. This is another rebellion here. <laughs> the other rebellion's still happening. Oh, we are on my fun too. Okay. Um. Oh, I don't really want to get rid of the cannon. Have to though, right? It's two seventy. Oh, I mean, these guys are really expensive. Okay. I command here. Weakening my army is probably not the best idea in the world, but. Gotta do what gotta do, right? Alright. Oh, he's waiting for another army to turn up. Oh, what a dork. That's a lot of gobbles. That's a lot of gobbles. There's a lot of troops here though. Silver shielded though, that's the problem. And 
They're everywhere. There's gobbos everywhere. Right, what do we got? Two towers. Right, let's meet them with swordsmen. They'll beat gobbos any day of the week. Let's get us split these guys, our ranged dudes. You can meet like all those guys, it's fine. Uh, is any of these towers can hit that? If they can. Put them in there just to find out. Uh, basically the same on this side. We have swordsmen to meet the towers. And crossbowmen um, basically to protect the guard house. Let's put spearmen. Not the best units in the world, of course. It's, it's like the gate crews. Uh, him too, I guess. We have one lord this side. One lord that side. All the towers are active. Put a supporting dude up there. You up. No. Uh, yep, you up there. I don't know what I'm doing to the cavalry. Um. I mean, if I have to run out there and kill that, I suppose that's going to be the best option, right? Our steeds are restless. Let's go. I just don't know if these are going to hit it. Yeah, well, okay, that's fine. I'll still pull the cave out anyway. I'll get more Valium out of them in there, I think. On, boys. Some magic or something. Yeah, get some good damage on them. I don't need two units to take out one unit of cave. No, really. I mean, one artillery. That's not on there. Okay. Uh, let's swing this back. Help these guys out. Not that I think they particularly need it, but that's cool. Ladders. Looking some good damage so far. A couple of units. That's good. That's good. You guys are attacking that. Problem is, there's that bloody rebellion rump sort of as well. There's going to be two rebellions at the minute. <laughs> oh dear God. Are they going to tank that or not? Uh, these guys kind of need to come down now since these guys are climbing. Which means this guy's basically dead, I think. Ooh. Okay, down. Yeah, it's fine. That's anti large. He's going to kill those weak gobos, thank you. Any chance you can swing it over there? Maybe. Squeeze are pretty quick though. That gate's down as well, it should be fine. Alright, you guys support please. Scarsnick, let's pop some melee stuff. Let's keep shooting. Good work. Let that cave go. That's gonna go, right? Can he? He's not gonna be able to get that one. See him sneak over here. He may have this, you know. Maybe. Can I get him down there as well? Walking on. That's that we got out. This guy should hold there. Who's 
guy's gonna hold. Just make sure nobody like routes behind us or anything silly like that. Sure, I told you to come down there. Alright, if you can, come down here. Those are fine. It's a lot of dudes, though. Yes, General. Missile infantry. Assume you were shooting that guy. Ready for war. You still shooting? Nope. Okay. Can you like shoot into here, maybe? You come this way. You shoot into here if you can. That guy's fighting that side. You guys are fighting there. I'm going to be shooting upwards. Those two are still dealing with that. Oh, that guy's not going to survive there by himself. Okay, I'll give him some shots in the back. My lord's tanking there pretty well. I assume you can fire up there. Prefer to not let them route through there if we killed. Because they'll just come back if we do that. Sneaky bugger. See, they'll just route around here and cap behind us, so we don't really want this happening. Chase them off, please. This guy should hold up there, right? I think. Oh, he's being shot from the other direction, so that's fine. Are you going to attack that dude? You get this way. You just hold that gate for us. You two chase, that's fine. Good kill Skarsnik, and we probably won. Just be careful they don't rally like this bugger. Which is what we didn't want to have happen. Crossbow's good. Yeah, see, here's the rallying troops. Which is exactly what we didn't want to have happen. We should be able to chase them out, I think. These guys are all holding just fine. They don't seem to have the big buffs um, that you'd normally have. The gobbers. We're not going to lose or anything, because there's still a lot of them. Right, pull these ones all back. Fine. Uh, I start shooting them. Spears come back. That's it. Line them up from range, please. Swan out. Yep, chase them out. Good stuff. Because they're on the border of breaking anyway, so if Skarsnip dies, I think they break. The Empire Crossbow's ready, General. Ready for war. Shoot that up. Let's kill that. That's good. You guys are on that side. That's fine. You guys need to come back. Oh, they were routing out. That's good. Uh, turn and shoot. Alright, nice. Oh, that's two Gobbo armies. Okay, that's good. That's good. Like I said, the only problem is there's um bloody rebellion right there too. Yeah, good hold. Yeah, they don't seem to have the buffs and stuff that you normally would have with Skarsnik's goblins. Although, to be fair, we did destroy his army not that long ago, so they might be new Gobbos as well. Maybe. Oh, 
Oh, sly. What are you doing, man? Sly. <laughs> I like it. A treasurer survives the battle. Gosh. Won't be for long, I wouldn't think. Ah, uh, we need the money. A thousand bucks. Yep, we'll take it. Sure, one of these guys is going to turn and attack us too, right? Mr. Albrick. Ugh, so annoying. I just can't be everywhere, that's the problem. Obviously. Hmm. I just can't be everywhere. And wherever I'm not, that's where they attack. It's like they've read the Art of War or something. I think this rebellion's really weak too though. Oh, we have to go over there and crush him, of course. And then come back the other way. It'd be nice to take these vamps out as well. I'd rather get this region secured again because I'm going to run out of money if I don't. Oh, no, it's giving me the plague. Man. Oh, it's really going to hurt my money. Wow. Oh. That's so bad. That's so bad. And for a second, it has to be. Oh, we're gonna go next so badly here. Yeah, spreading the plague. So if you guys haven't seen the plague yet, I'll click through this and I'll show you. Basically that, income from all buildings is minus 50%, minus 30 growth. The bad thing is that if I put an army near there, the army will get the plague as well. <laughs> It's just ridiculous. It just spreads so fast. Oh my god. Alright guys, I think that's where we're going to wrap up this episode. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.